this is Edwin. Thank you guys for tuning in again. On today's episode, we go thrifting to Salvation Army, Sabres, and St. Vincent de Paul. Uh, also, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe. And let's check out the footage. All right, so uh, we did also go to Goodwill. And here is a Digimon movie. The clamshell. I didn't really get into Digimon, so, but it was kind of cool to see that. Here's a Woody Woodpecker ornament. I did grow up watching those cartoons. Chips, Zootopia, that's a very funny movie. And here is actually the the VHS Street Fighter movie. This this was kind of neat to see because I'm a, a big fan of Street Fighter. And I've never seen this one before. And here are a bunch of... Uh, Mostly DVDs, some games, and here are some CDs. And I also look at golf clubs because I do play golf, and these are also good to flip. You want to look out for TaylorMade and some of the uh, good um, brands for uh, golfing. And here I'm over uh, where the electronics are at. And uh, at this uh, Salvation Army, this is where I found uh, the projector for about uh, 15 bucks. And here I also like to look for any... Um, TVs or VCR DVD combo players because those are also good to flip. This is St. Vincent de Paul, and here they have uh, some, some toys. And here they also had uh, an iPhone, I'm not sure if that's the 6 or the 7. And here they had a bunch of games. As you can see, uh, also a bunch of Wii, Wii Fit games, Wii Play. I think everybody, uh, someone donated the whole collection. Uh, here is Think for Disney, uh, Need for Speed for, for the Xbox 360. And more uh, CDs. And this is savers and what you want to look for or what, what I look out for is a little white label that says NTSC UC and those are PlayStation games. I also look for white cases because those are cases for the Dreamcast. And I usually find the uh, Wii Sports. I just have to, I usually just take my time flipping through those CDs because sometimes they're just in between those cases and I usually find it, find it. Here are some, some more CDs. And again, you want to look for that NTSC uh, little white rectangle box. So that's the easiest way to look for PlayStation games. And here are some more uh, CDs. I really didn't find much except for uh, this WWF uh, soundtrack. And I was tempted to take it, but unfortunately, it was uh, very scratch. Uh, here is a a uh, DualShock PlayStation 2 controller, um, and it was $7.99, and these go for about 15 to 20 bucks. And here's also a, a Wii joystick. I did not take it. Uh, and here are some uh, PC games. I'm not really into a PC game, but this was kind of cool. Uh, to see it was a cool box and also uh, the Batman game uh, This was pretty cool because it had the blockbuster um, 
case. I'm still looking for a good game that has that blockbuster case. Just to have it in the collection. And I also do look at the toy section just to see if there's anything that is of value or I'm also always looking for TMNT uh, stuff. I hardly come across it, but when I do, I do pick it up. Uh, I, not on, on, on this footage, but I have found a Mario Kart controller at this Savers. And I did find a Funko Pop uh, at this Savers, so that was kind of cool. And here they have bags, little bags full of toys. And I'm always looking for the, the ones that are on sale. They have also different uh, colors of the week that they go on sale and that they have on discount. And these are the games that I found. I just held on to them uh, just to think about taking them uh, here is Guild Wars a PC game I'm not too familiar and if you uh, are familiar with these P games uh, let me know in the comment section you can let me know also uh, what I should look out for and again here is Batman and the Spider-Man game the CD and Just Dance 4 for the Wii all right so let's review what I picked up so I did pick up Junior Brain Trainer for the Nintendo DS and I picked this one up because it did have two games. This is Junior Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball Junior. And it also had uh, this game here, okay? I picked up a uh, Sony PlayStation uh, 2 and this one is in good condition. It was a little dirty but all I have to do is clean it up and what you want to look for when you pick up these controllers is the pins the pins that are are on the end here I don't know if you can tell but it does have the nine pins here usually when it's missing one of the pins uh, it doesn't work properly well, there's a malfunction in the controller, so that's what you want to look out after when you pick these up and make sure that the buttons and the joysticks fun function well, that they don't get stuck. And this one's in good condition. I did pick up Just Dance for the Wii. Uh, my wife and I enjoy playing these, so I had to pick this one up. And this one was five bucks, so it wasn't too bad. All right, so we did manage to go to a yard sale. I didn't get any footage, but I picked up these DVDs for a dollar each. And these are Silent Hill and The Dark. Picked up Wally. Toy Story 3. Monster Sink, and this one is sealed. I might get this one graded, I don't know yet have up the dark knight batman begins and walk the line and you always want to ask to see if they have any video games or if they have any other stuff and well that well they unfortunately they said no and as I was looking into the movies, because they had a lot of uh, movies there, so I, as I was looking through, digging through uh, their movies, the, the guy who was selling the stuff, he comes out and he says, are you interested in cards? And I said, what kind of, what kind of cards do you have? And he said, I have Pokemon. And I said, sure, I'll take a look at them. And he sold me uh, this box. He brought up this box and I saw that they were Yu-Gi-Oh Yu cards and also Pokemon cards. And he gave, uh, well, he sold me uh, these for 10 bucks. So he sold me the Yu these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I'm gonna make another video to go over the cards. I saw one hologram. I'm not too sh familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon, but maybe you guys can help me out. Uh, I know um, Charizard is one of the 
the popular ones. But here is uh, Charmeleon. I'm not too sure if that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, here's a whole stack. And I'll be sharing uh, these cards with you uh, later. I also, uh, when I go uh, shopping, I do go thrifting online, believe it or not. Oh, I know there's uh, the Goodwill, they have a website. Uh, but I do go to thriftbooks.com and they have books, but they also have video games. So if you go to thriftbooks.com, uh, you'll be able to find uh, some deals. So I suggest you guys check, check it out. And here, I just got this one in the mail. And let's rip this one up. And let's see what I got. So here it is. I did get Nintendo GameCube creatures from the Krusty Krabs SpongeBob SquarePants. And sometimes they don't have the case. Uh, and this one did. Actually, most of the time, these do have the case, the case for it. And for whatever reason, if you're not happy with, with the disc, if it's too scratch or you didn't get the box, you can send them an email and they usually uh, try to help you out. I have told them I have some had some situations where I wasn't happy and they said we're gonna refund refund you and you can keep whatever we sent you so this one as you can see it is complete it has a manual and it has a little another booklet here Let's see if I can pop it out Nikki games guide it's pretty cool I haven't seen if it's scratched or not. Let's see if it's scratched or not. It appears that it's in very good condition. So I'm happy about that. And usually they're pretty decent prices. I bought this one at uh, cheaper when I compared it to um, price charting. So I had to pick it up. And as you guys, if you guys are hunters, if you guys are collectors, Nintendo GameCubes, they're usually hard to find. And I don't see them that much at thrift stores. But check out thrift books. You might find something that you need. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share it. And I'll see you on the next video on Tuesday. Have a good week. Peace.